Hello and welcome to the battery test of iOS 12.1.4. So as always, I start by running the battery test from Geekbench on the iOS 12.1.3 and then again on uh, the same devices uh, when they're updated to iOS 12.1.4. So as always, let's uh, check out the brightness setting and also uh, just verify that uh, auto brightness is set to off. And we are almost ready to go now. Only thing left to do is to launch Geekbench, uh, put it in battery test mode and cut off the power. So we're all set. I will cut off the power in three, two, one. Go.
again. Devices are now on 12.1.4. And let's just uh, go and check the battery wear of these devices just to confirm that they were the same as the last time we ran it on iOS 12.1.3. So as you can see here, the devices are at the same battery wear as they were when we ran on 12.1.3. Except for the 5S, you cannot see that uh, as it has not that feature built into the iOS for the 5S, but it was measured outside of uh, iOS on Windows actually with a tool called 3, uh, 3U Tools, I believe it's called. We'll just go and check and see that the uh, display brightness, uh, auto brightness is still set to off and then we'll get uh, Geekbench up and running and uh, start it. So we're all set, I will cut off the power in 3, 2, 1, go!
So according to Geekbench battery test, the performance has gone up for some devices. iPhone 5S is down by 5 points but has the same runtime. iPhone 6 is up by 25 points, but note that the battery health has gone up by 1%, even though it's still on the same battery. iPhone 6S is down by 40 points, actually what it gained when it was tested uh, against iOS 12.1.2. And iPhone 7 is down by 10 points. The iPhone 8 is up by 45 points. So not really sure what to make of it all this time. All phones seems to be up and down all over the place. But all in all, they are all around the same results that we saw in the test uh, I did on iOS 12.1.2, 12.1.3 and now on 12.1.4. I think maybe the conclusion should be that there has been no improvements made in iOS 12.1.4 versus 12.1.3 and even 12.1.2. So thank you for watching the video and please remember that subscribers have faster iPhones and longer battery life.